Intraspecific competition is when the same species compete with each other in the same area for available resources. Plants are able to alter their allocation patterns depending on their need to adapt to different abiotic conditions and population densities. We used Raffinus sativa, or more commonly known as cherry bell radishes, as a proxy for wild plants in the experiment to look at intraspecific competition. We hypothesized that higher plant densities results in a lower germination rate and smaller plant growth. We planted 36 pots, each pot containing either 5, 10, or 15 seeds. In the greenhouse, we randomly placed each pot within the flats to ensure that they all had equal amounts of sunlight and water. On the 6th, 10th, 15th, and 20th day after planting, we measured each plant for growth in centimeters using a standard ruler. The plants were uprooted from the soil on the 20th day and placed in a drying oven on paper towel for 24 hours. After 24 hours, we cut the plants using a razor blade, separating the roots and shoots. Once cut, we weighed the roots and shoots separately in grams using an analytical balance recorded to the 10,000th place. The plants in the 15 seed treatment had an overall higher and faster growth rate. This can be attributed to the intraspecific competition between each of the plants. As the experiment concluded, the 10 seed treatment grew the least, with an overall difference of 0.6 centimeters. The pots containing 15 seeds displayed a higher mortality rate, even though they were a heavier total weight than the 10 seed pots. This phenomenon could be explained using the competitive exclusion principle, where the plants in the 15 count pots were able to outcompete one another for resources. Despite this high mortality rate, the roots and shoots weighed more because the plants were able to consume resources that would have had ordinarily been consumed by neighboring plants. As the plants began to grow, they were able to outcompete one another and the most fit plant was able to survive and pool resources and nutrients, whereas the less fit plants could not. Overall, plants are primary producers and a large portion of the ecosystem depends on them for survival and reproduction. Therefore, Distribution patterns show evidence of plants' ability to acclimate to new environmental conditions. The more competitive the species is, the more diversity it can bring to the ecosystem, thus increasing overall species richness.